Capricorn, Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia, here to do a reading for the 1st of December 2021 for you. Hope you guys are doing all well. On the 1st of December, we have Neptune going into Pisces. And this represents the age of the artist. So this is a surge of um, artistic expression that's going to happen. So we could have a surge of dancers, musicians, songwriters, um, actors, artists, that kind of energy is coming through around this time. So take it in your situation. I always base my readings on musicians, but um, take it in your situation because anything to do with music, you could do artwork, you have music when you dance, you have music in your acting and so forth. So we'll get started. I'm going to pull a card from the Music Oracle deck and this is a, a message from your muse. Now this muse can be alive today or they have passed on so we'll see who we've got coming out for you and what message they want to portray to you here Capricorn so bear with me we have for a bit of Capricorns please for the first of December on the whole of December 2021 thank you okay so we've got Ravi Shankar that's uh, flipped over for you so this is an Indian musician um, from what I'm seeing now the music oracles always have a um, have three messages for you and uh, the first one is the attitude to take on is always read and play between the lines so obviously um, what he's saying is Don't be jerky when you play. Play with feel is what I'm feeling. Okay, play the right notes, but play with feel is what I'm feeling. The lifestyle is your true nature is reflected in silence. And the inspiration is music is the infinite space between two souls. So if that applies to you guys, take it in whatever situation Um you're in I'm just going to see if I can get a little bit more information about this musician because um, there's someone I'm not sure of I've never heard of their name but it's definitely in this book and it's definitely a message coming out for you so just bear with me Capricorn here we go Okay, so Ravi Shankar was born in India, so we've got that part right. Born in 1920, passed in 2012. Until Ravi Shankar was introduced to Western audiences during the 1960s. Thanks to the patronage of besotted pop demigods, most people outside the subcontinent were only familiar with Indian music, if at all, as background noise in restaurants. For Shankar, playing the sitar was a deeply spiritual calling and he became the undisperred master of intricate mind expanding melodic form known as Raga. Okay. His virtuosity and vision captivated a youthful audience, seeking easy routes to enlightenment and higher states of consciousness. Thanks to appearances at the Woodstock and Monterey music festivals that bridged the gap between Eastern and Western music for the first time. So it's a little bit of history on Ravi Shankar. So we'll see what other messages are coming through for you. But definitely here's a past on musician that came out for you today, guys. So we're looking at Neptune, which is corresponding to Pisces in the 12th house. It's all about fate, illusion, compassion, resolution of karma and service. And in the Lenormand cards, we have the scythe. So the scythe represents a fast decision without emotions. It means that you cut a situation or a person off and you're trying to harvest something. So the blunt side is where you're, you're trying to harvest something. So it could be also a warning for danger or a reduction of some kind. It could be redundancy, um, a broken agreement, 
sudden endings and tight budgets that type of energy is coming through and I feel like whatever uh, decision that you had to make if it was quick it was with good results and it could have been after a broken agreement maybe you were cut off a contract or a contract came to an end but this was a final decision for you Capricorn now we're going to take a look at Pisces which is the star sign that Neptune's in which is also about mysticism dedication compassion unconditional service and we have the ring with this card so the ring is definitely a contract an agreement a pact a relationship a promise you know a legally binding contract with partnerships perhaps with a Taurian um, but it could be a, an end of a contract or a relationship came to an end so something that was legally binding or a bond there that was a quick decision to end it maybe you're trying to harvest this relationship now Capricorn now we're going to take a look at your card here Capricorn so if you were born between uh, December 22 and January 19 this is your card um, if you're a cross watcher welcome to the channel now Capricorn's motto is I respond they're a cardinal earth sign and this is about your tenacity this is about stamina whatever you're responsible for Capricorn and having patience now we've got the Sun that's come up so I'm glad that it's the colors here correspond so definitely the Sun is about success and happiness a win a victory shining the light on something it's about positivity all over happiness maybe you're glowing from something but it can be about a reputation um, endeavors that have been successful you can be um, recognized and this is a, a partnership that's coming after an ending I believe because this scythe is on top of the Sun and I feel like there was pressure in a relationship or pressure with a contract here now we've got the fourth house of transformation and inner foundation so it could be have something to do with your mother family ancestors home base enduring values or beginnings and endings and we've got the coffin that's come through now the coffin is definitely about transformation uh, maybe it was a finality a relationship that was over dead and buried some sort of closure that you've received it could also be um, a job that came to an end perhaps maybe um, you were at a dead end or you were left a job but something big came to an end an end and it was unavoidable for you Cap Capricorn sorry it has been very painful for you and maybe it involved mourning but remember when you leave the past behind transformation does take place out with the old and in with the new is what they say so definitely um, you may be trying to harvest a relationship but I'm feeling there was pressure here now we've got the part of fortune which is your place of joy your song of creation so it is whatever fulfills you so take it in that situation dancing singing playing an instrument artwork whatever acting um, it is your harmonic point of happiness and it's about your internal attitude that's going to bring external luck so if you're happy on the inside definitely it's going to shine through like the Sun something is going to be um, illuminated so we've got the stalk here so you are making some changes maybe taking things up a notch um, I do feel like a, a fresh new starts coming for you for some it's rebirth or a transformation altogether but just making some changes in general so we have Taurus Leo and Aries in energies in the reading 
So it could be a new career or starting something up again. Maybe, you know, you've ended something, but you're harvesting a relationship or a contract again. But it is about moving forward, going in forward motion and being that entrepreneur. I feel like it's going to be in 17 days, 17 weeks or 17th day of December or springtime, depending where you are in the world, of course. But change and transformation coming into your life. Definitely a fresh new start for you guys. Now I'm just going to pull a animal tarot card. And see if we can get some advice or an outcome for you. Oh, I didn't even have to shuffle that one. Just popped straight up. So we've got the nine of spring, the gazelle. So it's telling me that you've worked hard. And there's something that you've created that was impressive and worthy of protecting. So whatever came to an end, I do feel really believe that you're harvesting this again. So you've had annoying challenges along the way. And even if you're still having those challenges, they're a bump in the road. You know, go around them or just wait until you're able to get some clarity to move again. But it's telling you not to worry, you'll get through all these challenges because you have done so in the past. So, you know, um, always remain hopeful here, Capricorn, is what I'm feeling. So that's um, your reading for December. Um, if you have any questions, just comment below, guys. If this resonated, please like and subscribe. That will help me build the channel up and then I can deliver more beautiful messages from spirit to you guys thank you so much for stopping by thank you